movie. And welcome to another random retro bonus round. I am Joshua Caleb. I'm Graham Ellis. And today we are going for our random retro game. We are going to discover the wonders of the scum engine. Very scummy. Yeah, so it's a weird name. It actually it comes from the Secret of Monkey Island. I think that was the first game to use it, right? I think so. And I think they named it after the bar, the scum bar in the game. Like that, that's, that's what I remember reading or hearing or something. But apparently they use it on quite a few games. Or at least it's compatible with quite a few games. So... How about, what's a good letter to start with? Try D. Uh, D. Uh, I don't have very many Ds. First one we actually is Day of the Tentacle. That's a... That's a Lucasfilm one. Um, yeah, and that's one that um, Tim Schafer, the Double Fine guy, I think he was behind that one. Oh, it's a fun one. Okay, so if we go into Scum, Day of the Tentacle, okay, and start. Okay, well, this is starting off good. Oh no, the bird got poisoned. So we have a house with a toxic waste dump. Mmm, I'm thirsty. And talking tentacles. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great, smarter, more aggressive. Oh boy. I feel like I could take over the like world. Like I could take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> like I could. Come on, just say it. Oh, grow arms. Take, take on the world. Oh, there you go. <laughs> So are we the tentacle, or are we this creepy-looking girl? Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. The tentacle's Just the Just what I need for dissection okay. lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like, we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says Green that purple tentacle. tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I like the bulging eye. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now I know that I must go back to the mansion. Where's the thunder? No, I think this was a sequel to Manic Mansion. Oh, right, okay. So that's the whole back to the mansion. Who is that guy, the, the, the nerd dude? Who does he look like? He reminds me of somebody. A nerd. <laughs> well, yeah, that too. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty stereotypical, too. You know. We have the credits before the game actually starts. Yeah. Well, they tried to do it like a movie. Yeah. Some of the later scum games are, are almost movies. This is almost 
almost sort of reminds me of those humongous entertainment games, just the sort of comic book style. Yep. Just totally over the top, crazy <gasps> stuff. Same sound effects, too. Well, it was written by guys who were probably in love with those guys. That type of game, cartoons. Uh huh. <laughs> Fences don't make that noise. Story by Tim Schafer. Did we just just get flipped off by a cow? <laughs> okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? I thought you were going to maintain Command HQ here. Um, open. I'm not leaving this motel until I find those tentacles. This is a motel. I don't know, I can't remember. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. This is a lot like Monkey Island. It oh, looks yeah, broken, they're all, but there's I something mean, they're all in the based corner. On the same it looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. Well, take it. <laughs> like Space Quest, you have to tell them to do everything. Sleek design, sturdy oh, yeah. construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. <laughs> there are times you have to think outside the box for these things. Oh, yeah. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. A Swiss bank book. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. Okay, that thing totally looks like it should be openable. Ah, <laughs> yep. How do we the open The safe it? is closed. Pick it. <laughs> Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Oh, smile for the camera. Always make sure they get your good side. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. I can't tell what that is. That might be a good thing. <laughs> Okay, so can we open the safe? I don't know the combination. I'd rather not. I Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't that. have a penny. Gum with dime stuck on it. Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. It's yeah. stuck to the floor. Oh, so we're gonna need some kind of grease, something. Laverne's covering that territory. How did that get up there? Flyer. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Help, Help wanted. wanted. Lab assistant. Hardworking moronic drone needed to assist <sighs> genius with experiments. High school diploma. Not required. <sighs> okay. So this is also another one of those where you can pick up a everything. Cultural horror. Yep. I can't touch it. It's spiny. And only one third of those items are actually useful. Most likely. OK, 
can I use the bell? Can I go upstairs? Hoagie's got that part of the house. So I have to figure out something in here. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Can't you switch to the other person? Or maybe you can't do that yet. Aha! A Ooh. secret passage. This is all too easy. Ouch. Oh, and now we get to play as him? Laverne, how'd you get up, stars? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? She sounds What's like a she's tentacle? High. Oh, just something yeah. I whipped up in my spare time. <laughs> he sounds like he should good get pets, uh, actually, Until one of them <laughs> tried to stoned. take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Oh, thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly <laughs> evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now Whoops. is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it yesterday through the time machine. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the Chronogen. Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. <laughs> Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. <laughs> uh, of course. Well, I'll be. It worked. <laughs> Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. <laughs> this must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. Oh, that explains a lot. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> what could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Where, where's a where's a blue call box? <laughs> well, please, call box should be floating by right about now. We may not I live don't think to Dr. see you. I'm back sure Dr. Fred US. wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It worked! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Uh oh. Now they can't get back. Okay, so wait, I was... Apparently there's wind and some <laughs> time. Yeah. I think they went back too far. At least he did. This thing gets spread around. Yeah, I was gonna say, now, she's, now this... She looks like she's in the future. And he winds up back in the present. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. 
Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? <laughs> Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we gonna get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. <laughs> Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Only after you save the world, of course. So do you eventually get to play as all three of them? Maybe I put yeah. them upstairs. Yep. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Okay, so we have to find... I don't remember this game looking as good as this, though. There, it's off. But it's too late now. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. So get on it. <laughs> That guy's voice I think sounds it's designed right to run with something, more like a small rodent. Yeah, it does. It does TV. I guess there probably were credits in the intro that said. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> missed. Doctor Fred. Tim Schaefer. He does the voice for this guy? This Bernard? Well, maybe not. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. I'd rather not. Les Nesman. Who is? The guy from uh, um, WKRP. Air conditioning, I guess. That's the character, Les Nesman. Sounds like the guy who plays him. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Neat. Richard Sanders. Yep, Tim. Who? I don't recognize. Who's Richard Sanders? He plays Les Nesman on WKRP in Cincinnati. He's the guy who had the invisible office walls, you know, the tape on the floor. I don't think I've ever heard of that. <laughs> Oh, it was a good show. Hmm, brown water. I believe that's called coffee. Oh, I can take coffee. Okay, sure. And just all those carry around. Anything in the microwave? Um, open. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. Oh. <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> um, it's a coin-operated clothes dryer. Oh, I bet you we're going to have to dry something. With, I'll bet you it's going to be two dimes. We're going to have to get something to get the gum off that other dime. And put both dimes in here and dry something. It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. Can I take anything out I of it? I don't think I can pick that up. Well, I just want to get something out of it. There's nothing in there to dry. Who knows what surprises await inside? <laughs> yes, scary cabinets. Which have a funnel. It's a fine funnel. They don't describe it as a fine funnel. It looks pretty broken. So the washer is broken, but the dryer works. Well, I guess we won't need the washer. Either that or we're going to have to fix it. Uh, what else can we look at? Uh, nothing. Hello. Rash of cow tipping. Okay. Triangular man. 
So that, that's how he's going to start his world domination, by tipping cows. Hmm, air conditioning, I guess. Can I go in? Hmm, air conditioning, I guess. Oh, okay. You can totally climb up the fireplace and the chimney. Hmm, a handle attached to a rotating shaft which transmits and modifies rotary motion and torque. In other words, a crank. Okay, so we need a flag for that. Wow, a pulley. By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage flexible by changing materials. the direction of motion and the applied Come force. Around. I don't think I can do that. Not much to see in there. It's locked. The most famous phrase in all of adventure game history. So do you want some hints? Sure. I used plenty of them on Monkey Island. <laughs> okay. You're supposed to pick up the paper. Hey, boy, you missed oh, the hello. party. From the board besides the generator. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. And send a help wanted sign. At the Novelty and a Good flyer Salesman's to Convention. I tell okay. you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. <laughs> Tell you, you look like Don Quixote. Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Quixote? That's strange. My wife says I look like the ghost pirate LeChuck. <laughs> so, want a cigar? <sighs> Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. Hey, if I listened to my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. <laughs> well, suit yeah. yourself, boy. So. Damn. The flyer. Rack of flyers. So we can pick up the help wanted sign? Yep. Okay. And a flyer. And then. I'm supposed to send them somewhere? To Hoagie. But we can't do that because the time machine is broken. Oh, there's got to be some way to send them. <clears throat> I'm trying to put my... The plans! The plans! I'm trying to get into um time travel mentality thinking here. Because if, if this was... A, if we were in the past, we could put them somewhere that so someone in the future could see them. But if we're in the present... You can't do okay, it. Okay, you need to take control of Hoagie after you get that stuff. Um, how do we do that? Oh, textbook. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. Sounds like it. Okay, so how do how do you switch control to people? Just checking. <laughs> Can't remember. I can pause. Ice machine. It's pretty darn cold. Well, it's an ice machine. I don't think I can pick that up. To give items to another character, just select an item. Then select the picture of the character. So, um, if you take the items and then. F now, where's the pictures of the characters? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> do, you have, do we have to fix the time machine first? Or something? I'm still here. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Okay, you say so. 
Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. Oh boy. How appropriate. <laughs> I can't even do this right. <laughs> oh. Neat! Ooh. Disappearing ink. That should come in handy. And we... Can we talk? Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery? Eh, that sounds even worse than the things I come up with. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> it so it doesn't show up when you do the inventory? No. Ooh, here we go. Let's discuss philosophy. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Why do you say that? I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Whoa, so you have to go to me. the um, outhouses. Okay. Because you flush it to them. I oh. like your design ideas. That makes sense. Well, I didn't mean you. Strangely, yes. <laughs> <sighs> Never mind. But where are... So is this a motel or is this a high school or what is this place? Now where did Dr. Mansion, Fred go? But... <laughs> it's not exactly the Ritz. <laughs> hey, aren't you weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope. Doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Like kidnapping your hamster and your piggy bank. <laughs> So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. <laughs> oh. These people are weir weirder than the ones on Monkey Island. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? <laughs> no! I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. The only friends I've got? Stamps. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Okay. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. 
I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. <laughs> yeah, I kidnapped him. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes, but then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? <laughs> Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Oh, wow. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, what is the mom up to? Or is this... Who is this? Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Shay, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? You must have me confused with some other Bernard Bernoulli. No, you're the one. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? Oh, I think there was an option when you when she asked you your name. You could you could have said I'm Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what she would have said then. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm a repairman. I've come to fix your VCR. There's nothing wrong with my VCR. You keep your paws off of it. Is that um, Lincoln? <laughs> um, where? In the corner, the statue of the colonial guy. Um, looks a little more like a pirate or something. Pirate Lincoln? Maybe. <laughs> He's got some muscular pinup guy on the wall. Well, you know, Lincoln the vampire hunter. Oh, yeah. Uh, cr um. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. So she's surveying all the guests. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom wall. Don't touch! Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch <laughs> okay. it! Okay. <laughs> that, that's the thing, right? Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not! <laughs> How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial kind situation. Kind of skimming through a uh, walkthrough. Off, but uh -huh. he seems a lot better now wow. that he stopped sleepwalking. <laughs> it gets better than this. I'll let you oh, get back yeah. to what you were doing. Come back a lot of it has time, to be it takes three characters. <laughs> they all have to find <laughs> stuff. But they're only usable sometimes to the other characters. Uh -huh. So you're doing a lot of transferring of, of material back and forth. She reminds so me of Gruntilda, Gruntilda the Witch from Banjo-Kazooie. Probably the same voice. <laughs> oh, we're almost Green. at 40 minutes. Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's going to go out and I, uh, the world. On YouTube, and, and I'm a afraid video of what he'll do if he catches me. A speed if Dr. run. Fred doesn't find me oh, first. that'd be interesting. Uh, does that answer your question? Minutes. Yeah. Wow. Hey, what's up, Bernard? While we wandered around the first part of the level, <laughs> the guy did the whole, the whole thing. Wow. 
You have to have a way to skip these dialogue things. It's knowing which ones you need, need which ones you don't. Oh, yeah, I right. imagine. A lot of it's, it's just to figure out which items you need. Yeah. So you go in and grab the speaker here, you grab maybe the globe, hustle out, come back to for maybe for something later. Yeah, leave the piece of paper there that you're never going to use. Exactly. Like the, what was it, the Monkey Island or like Melee Island Minutes on Monkey Island? I never mm -hmm. did figure out what I was supposed to use those for. I don't, I don't think I ever did use them. Or if I did, I don't remember. Yeah, inventory management is, is always fun in these games. Well, yeah, because you just got to grab everything you find. Well, well, I remember some games See you later. had a finite yeah. number of slots. Good luck in saving the world, B-Man. Then oh, you had to yeah. figure out what you needed and what you didn't. Because there were red herrings, right? Uh-huh. I, think I imagine need a lot to... of this is just figuring out where the map is, right? How to get from point A to point B. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think this was probably a pretty good first look at Day of the Tentacle. I think they need to re-release this like they did Monkey Island. It actually stands out. Yeah, it did. The, the problem with the first, the original Monkey Island, um, I actually like the revised version better because I think the voice acting really adds a lot to the writing. Ah, uh, yeah. And since this already has the voice acting, I think they weren't really... I mean, they could just release it like this. I think it... Was it re-release? <clears throat> Day of the Tentacle? Yeah. Some of these have been re-released. Re I suppose you could check um, GOG, good old games. They might have it. I don't know if they have any sort of deal with LucasArts or not. Well, if not, it's available in a few, bunch of other abandonware places. Yeah, you, you can even, the Scum VM engine emulator, you can even get on, you can get on almost everything. They have it on Android, PC, PSP. It might even be on the iPhone. Yeah, I think it's on iOS, Windows Phone, Palm. And you don't need a lot of power to run the... <laughs> no. Or a lot of inputs. No, you just need a... Uh, just... I mean, I mean, this thing was designed to be run with a mouse. Yeah, two-button mouse, that's it. Yeah, so, I mean finger will do. Uh-huh. Well, that'll probably do it for us this week. Um, thanks, everyone. I'm going to have for... to play this again. Yeah, I know. I'm going to put it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thanks, everyone, for watching, and we will catch you sometime randomly next week with a randomly chosen game. See you now. <laughs>